Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com, with an iPhone app demo for my movie collection by GoToMyCollection. This application is in the entertainment category and works best on the iPhone or iPod Touch and is free. This easy-to-use movie tracker allows you to create and organize your own movie collection and includes extras like movie trailers, photos, information about the films, the directors, and the actors, and more, all in an easy-to-use design. Here's the opening screen. At the bottom are the two main navigations. My collection, as well as settings, or collection and settings. We'll come back to settings in a moment. Here is my collection. I'm currently viewing it in the bookshelf view. You can tell I only have four more movies to add before I need to pay for the full collection. So it's going to hold quite a few movies, but at one point, if you want to have unlimited movie collection and get rid of ads, you're going to have to pay $2.99 to remove those and have that functionality. In the upper left, you can change how you're viewing your collection to a list view, to list with icon, or back to bookshelf, which is my preferred view. At the top right, you're going to notice there's a filter, and you can filter your movie collection by a bunch of different ways. Status, which is owned, rented, and I'll show you some information about that. Decade, based on the time that you have for your movies. Uh, the genre, which is, again, automatically uh, populated by your movie, how you have the movie, on loan, and so on, watched, and you can go through there. You can also reset those filters. When you're done out of there, this is the way you put your movies into your collection, either with barcode scan with camera, type the barcode, or type the movie name. I'm going to use the barcode scan with camera, and underneath my iPhone, I've been hiding a movie, which you guys couldn't see because we shoot in the dark. We're going to go ahead and wait for Shrek to populate, and once it populates, I'm going to show you how this looks inside. Let's go ahead and add it first. Now it's going to be in my collection. It's alphabetized, so it's going to be right there. Tap on that, and I can go ahead and see what's in here. The year, the rating, length, animation. It's an animated. You can watch the trailer, and the trailer is actually the official trailer. I don't know how they do it, but it'll actually pull back the official trailer. Now, you can also get a synopsis for the movie. Many of you have probably already seen it, and you can go through the directors, writers, cast, and you can scroll down, producers, other credits, and you can scroll through here. Now, say I want to know more about Cameron Diaz. I'm going to tap on Cameron Diaz, and I'm going to get a bunch of information back on her. Not only will I get a picture, I'll get her birthday, where she's from, her filmography, which means I'll get all the films that she has been in. Bad Teacher, Green Hornet, What to Expect When You're Expecting, and so on. I think that might be one she's actually working on. I don't know, because there's no date by it. But you can go through here and say I wanted to get the Green Hornet. Tap there. And it's actually going to pull up that movie. I could add that to my collection if I had it or if I wanted to get it. And you can go through there. So that is a very cool feature. Again, you can scroll through here and see all of that information on all the movies that she's been in. And that goes for all of the movies and the other actors as long as there is a blue link underneath it. Now let's go back out of here. That is is the movies that's your movie collection in the settings tab over here on the right side you're going to actually see the premium pack here you can tap there and it tells you upgrade to add free my movie collection and get unlimited number of movies to your collection and you can do that there go back in here you can have your values you can change the values to default format of how you want the default to be if you have a lot of HD DVDs you could change to that and so on Blu-rays, and so on. Default status, again, there you have it. And then you can go through the general settings and do the same, and the information is there, as well as frequently asked questions, which could be helpful when you're trying to figure out how to use this application. It's very easy to use, I'll have to say. And you can turn this off. That's how many movies I have in my collection, which is 13. You can actually toggle that off or on if you choose. But that's it. In here, you can search your collection also by just typing in whatever you want, title, director, actresses, and so on. Cancel out of there. And that's it for this iPhone app demo. Until next time, this has been Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's App saying see ya.